Hello YouTube. In this video I'm going to show you how to use Rufus to create a bootable UEFI Windows 10 install media. This is for USB. Rufus is a USB tool. Uh, right now I'm going to discredit a bunch of you freaking idiots out there who are going to sit there and say that you can't boot an NTFS file system off a of USB. You're obviously really fucking stupid and don't pay much attention or do a whole lot of research. I don't even want to hear it. Don't bother posting it. If you do, I'm going to immediately delete your comment because you don't know what you're talking about. For one, UEFI will support NTFS file systems for booting. Now, once you download Rufus, and I will supply the download in a link in the description, you will have to have a... 64-bit version of an ISO which is a copy of the Windows 10 disk in order to create this UEFI bootable USB installer drive <clears throat> now I say 64-bit because UEFI booting does not support 32-bit windows again anyone out there starts posting comments about how it does you obviously didn't do any research and you're misleading people you have to have Windows 10 and 64-bit in order for you to be able to boot UEFI to format your primary drive as a GPT instead of MBR partition in order to actually be able to use a drive larger than 2.2 terabytes and the other benefit is the fact that booting GPT allows you to actually perform a UEFI boot, which means your Windows 10 operating system can take full advantage of all UEFI functions supported by your UEFI system board. So with that being said, the first thing you want to do is make sure this is selected on ISO image. Click the little button here to select the image. And again, this is a 64-bit UEFI bootable ISO for installing clean versions of Windows 10. So we're going to give it a new label. And I'm going to name it Win 10 UEFI set or Win 10 setup UEFI. That'll work. That's better than the other. Then we're going to click on this drop down for the partition, select GPT partition scheme for UEFI. It's going to change the file system to FAT32. You do not want FAT32, you want NTFS. Make sure the cluster size is on default, and then all you have to do is click start. Click OK. All that warning is, is telling you that that USB drive is going to be wiped. That's fine. It's going to format the USB drive, complete creating the necessary partitions. It's going to create your uh, boot folder, which contains the UEFI boot information, and then it'll copy over the ISO to the USB drive. So we'll see shortly once that process finishes. And it is now complete. So you'll see that it drops back to the defaults. That's fine. Click close bring this up and you'll see that it says win 10 UE setup UEFI that's awesome you come to EFI go to boot and it says boot 64 EFI that is exactly what you want it to read out that is exactly what you want to see this will now be able to boot on a 64 bit UEFI system and it will actually be able to format your drive as a GPT partition so that your uh, hard drive is GPT. It will be able to do an actual UEFI install and you will be able to have full support of the UEFI system of your system board. Mine, instead of showing the Windows 10 logo, shows the Windows 10 loading bar down at the bottom but it shows the ASRock logo for the UEFI bootloader. So instead of having the Windows logo on boot up, it doesn't show that anymore. And that's also another really good indicator that you are running a full UEFI install rather than a uh, standard MBR install. 
the master boot record install is the default that Windows has used for many, many, many years. GPT is a newer format and uses the uh, GUID for uh, the hard drives uh, a lot more like what Linux does and supports up to 256 terabytes in hard drive size. MBR, on the other hand, the maximum hard drive size is 2.2 terabytes. So 256 terabytes is extremely massive in drive size. This information is out there for absolutely everybody. As always, watch, like, and share. Have yourselves a great day.